Hello again YouTubers, this is Jonathan Asirma again, and I'm going to be reading to My Thomas Story Library, Victor. Hope you enjoy it. Victor. This is a story about Victor, a shiny red engine who runs the Sodor Steamworks. But when Thomas had to take over, it took Victor to show him that really useful engines listen to each other. One morning, the Fat Controller had a special new job for Thomas. You must look after the steamworks while Victor is at the transfer yards, he said cheerfully. Thomas's firebox fizzed with excitement. He loved visiting the steamworks. Make sure you listen to Victor carefully. He will tell you everything you need to know. The Fat Controller told Thomas. Yes, sir, Thomas whistled happily as he set off. When Thomas arrived at the steamworks, Victor was waiting for him. Everyone liked Victor because he always knew what to do and kept the steamworks running smoothly. Hello, my friend, he smiled. Today is going to be a busy day for you. I like being busy, Victor, tooted Thomas. He couldn't wait to get started. Now Thomas, said Victor firmly, when an engine comes in, you must listen carefully to their problem. If you get stuck, ask Kevin. A cheerful yellow crane wheeled towards Thomas and Victor. That's right, Thomas, said Kevin. Just ask me if you get in a fix. But Thomas was too excited to listen. He just wanted to get on with his very important job. Don't worry, Victor. I know what to do, he chuffed. You'd better get going or you'll be late. Victor puffed off towards the transfer yards. Thomas was now in charge. Before long, Spencer steamed into the steamworks. His shiny paint was scratched. Where's Victor? Spencer asked. He's away today. I'm in charge, Thomas replied. I'll check you from whistle to wheels. Kevin was worried. Thomas, Spencer only needs a new coat of paint, he said. But Thomas wasn't listening to Kevin. After all, he was in charge. Put Spencer up on the hoist, Kevin, he said bossily before puffing away. A few moments later, Henry arrived at the steamworks. He was spluttering and stuttering, wheezing and sneezing. He was surprised to see Thomas instead of Victor. Victor is away today. I'm in charge, said Thomas. I know what's wrong. You've been given the wrong coal, Henry. Oh no, Thomas. I have my special coal. The problem is... Ugh. Henry wheezed. But Thomas wasn't listening. After all, he was in charge. He asked, he asked Kevin to fetch Henry's coal. Next, James puffed into the steamworks. His funnel was blocked with straw and twigs. Where's Victor? He puffed slowly. He's away today. I'm in charge, said Thomas. What you need is a new funnel, James. Oh no, Thomas! James began, but Thomas wasn't listening. He was in charge. Kevin, find a spare funnel, please, he tooted. Thomas looked around the busy steamworks and felt very proud indeed. Poor Kevin wheeled this way and that with worry. He wanted to help, but Thomas had, but Thomas had given the little crane too many jobs to do. Then there was trouble. As Kevin reversed with Henry's coal, he bumped the control panel and sent Spencer shuddering into the air. <gasps> Heaving hooks, Kevin cried. He dropped the coal in surprise and black dust flew everywhere. The engines couldn't see a thing. Henry biffed into James and James blew the biggest puff of steam he had ever blown. Soon, the gleaming steamworks was covered in soot twigs and straw. Thomas heard a voice through the dark clouds of dust. 
sizzling sodor. What has happened to my beautiful steamworks? Said the voice. It was Victor. He had arrived back early from the transfer yards. Thomas looked at Victor, then at the, me then at the mess and muddle around them. I'm sorry, Victor. This is all my fault, Thomas said. I didn't listen to Kevin, and I didn't listen to my friends. I was too excited. Now look at the mess I've made, he puffed sadly. Thomas was very sorry. I think, my friend, you are right, Victor huffed. But if you listen carefully to us now, we can clean the steamworks together. This time, Thomas did just as his friends told him. First, they took Spencer down from the hoist. I don't need checking from whistle to wheels, Thomas. I just need some new paint for my scratches and scuffs, he said. Yes, Spencer, smiled Thomas. Soon, with a little help from Victor, Spencer's, Spencer's silver paint was sparkling again. Next, Victor and Thomas talked to Henry. I have my special coal, he told them, but my firebox is making me wheeze and sneeze. Now that he knew what the real problem was, Thomas knew just what to do. Don't worry, Henry, Thomas whistled. Your firebox needs a clean, that's all. Thomas was right. After, after Victor and Thomas had helped had helped clean Henry's firebox, Henry felt as good as new. Last of all, Thomas and Victor went to help James. I don't need a new funnel, James said. I just need my old funnel cleaned and polished. And before long, James was shining from fender to footplate. Now all of the engines were ready to be really useful and the steamworks was clean again. Thomas promised that next time he visited, he visited the steamworks, he would listen to what Victor told him. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you later until next time. Bye.